Hey friends, um, I want to make what's hopefully going to be a really short video so that everyone's attention span can get them to the end of it today about um, taking everything to the next level, right? As things in the world are seemingly escalating and becoming more and more what the heck is going on, like what's going to be in all of this, um, a lot of people are being like, what are we supposed to do here, right? And, you know, things feel on many levels like, oh my God, it's reaching a boiling point. All of these biblical prophecies are playing out and being fulfilled. And like, what can we do, right? The question that we should be asking is not, what do we have to do to prove to Hashem that we're good enough that he can finally send Mashiach, right? Because the Rebbe said we have that in the world already and we we need to align with it, right? Um, it, the question that we need to be asking is, what do we need to do to take control of these inner forces that are manifesting in the world through these events. And I'm going to tell you all something, okay? I'm going to give you a really simple tool to start with. And I'm going to tell you something, okay? And I might get a little passionate. We all know that I can use some harsh and fiery language sometimes. I'm not going to apologize for it. It's called for at times. I did not, I did not take the trouble to make this trip into the world into this body and to deal with all the SHIT that I've dealt with in my life to come here and show up for an effing apocalypse. Okay. I am not here for that. I am not here for us to allow a freaking apocalyptic scenario to occur. That's not Geula. That's not the tools that we were given. And even though on one level of Tara, right, which is from Nigla all the way up to the Kabbalistic level, there's a lot of prophecies, right? But we were given the tool to, 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 to bypass all of that and go into the fifth dimension, the dimension of Hasidus, the dimension of the essence of things, where we really claim these forces as ours, consciously, on the side of endless, beautiful co-creation, evolution, settledness in the world in deeper and richer ways. I did not effing come into this world to experience any sort of a, an apocalyptic scenario. And I'm talking e like, you know, I I'm talking even like a few months of like, oh, I needed to store food for a few months and then things are fine. I am not here for any level of traumatic apocalyptic scenario. I did not come into the world for this, okay? Not here for it. And that's exactly what every single one of us needs to start with saying. Because there are a lot of parts of us that are scared, that are unconscious, that are getting schlepped along in these really intense currents of emotion and fear and power because they're they're very real currents it's a very real powerful level of reality but we can we can jump to the higher level literally the first step is to start saying to yourself because you're gonna then you're gonna awaken this part of you okay to start saying to yourself i did not come to this world to experience an apocalyptic scenario i am not here for that hell no Okay, hell no to the apocalypse. That's gonna start tapping you into the deeper level of your soul that did not come here to experience an apocalypse, okay? And just by starting with that holy fire of like, absolutely not, I did not come here to experience any sort of an apocalyptic scenario. We don't have to do that, okay? We've been given we've been given the tools and the consciousness through Hasidus to be fully activated in our own lives, right? The Rebbe says that when our Yechida, this deepest part of ourself, this truest essence of ourself, when we can make that present in every moment of our life, if I'm with my kids, if I, if I am watching the news and seeing what's happening collectively, the more present and powerful I am in my own life on the ground, my human life, my dear Batach Tonum, drinking a cup of coffee, making a video, riding a horse, walking down the street, at my job, doing doing data analysis, you know, in the doctor's office, whatever it is, the more those deeper parts of myself are activated and I'm listening to my deeper truth, right? And I'm really trying to bring that awareness that there's a deeper part of me present at all times, no matter what I'm doing, and, and to tune into it. The more we access that level, the more we change the way things are manifesting. And literally step one to shake ourselves out of these powerful currents and streams, right? Because we're also navigating our relationship between my personal life and, and, and the collective stuff that's playing out. We do not want, we don't want to get lost in the collective drama and let it take us out of our personal 
life where we have been tasked by God himself, by our own soul to show up, okay? We want to be present. We need to we stay aware. We spend we're gonna spend time davening for Eretz Yisrael and for the, the hostages Rahman al Itzlan and for all of the things playing out. Yes, but the most powerful thing that you can do, you stay aware of that, you stay aware of what's happening in the collective, but you need to be very present and empowered in the details and the gadarim of your personal life because the two things are intimately connected. They are not separate. And literally step one to shaking yourself to a next level of empowerment is to literally as many times a day as you need to and look in the mirror and say it to other people i did not effing come here to experience an apocalypse thank you very much i didn't come here for that i did not go through the trouble of incarnating of coming down through all the worlds of seder histalshalis coming into a body and dealing with all the shit that we've all dealt with in our lives did not come into this world and deal with all of that to come to a point of having to experience any type of apocalypse, no thank you. Not here for it. That's step one, okay? Love you all. Have a great day.